It's hot. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a requested video from the Bunny Beatdown. She commented that she wanted to see me talk about all of my highlighters in my collection. And a couple years ago, I actually had this makeup series on my channel called My Makeup Collection, where I talk about certain things in my collection and give you guys a speed review. And it's been a couple of years since I've done that, so... Here we are again and I'm really excited because I feel like since the last time I have done like a highlighter collection, it's just changed so much. So I'm gonna be just doing everything that I have from like liquid highlighters to individual highlighters. I'm gonna skip out on my palettes that have like the bronzers and blushes because I consider those more of like face palettes as opposed to just simple highlighters. So first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the highlighter that I'm wearing on my skin. I just feel like it's easier that way. So if you look at my skin and you're just like, oh my God, what is that? It's nothing new. I've had this in my collection literally since it launched like a couple of years ago. And it's the Real Her Keep Going Highlighter. They have uh, three shades available. And this to me is like the most boring looking highlighter in my collection. Probably not the most boring, but like when you look at it, it looks dry. When you touch it, it feels dry. But on the skin and with a brush, it looks so good. Like it's the one that I feel like is so shocking every single time I use it. Every single time I use it, I'm never bored. I'm always like, yes, like this is my highlighter. This is the one that I really love using every single day. And it's just one of those formulas that I just am surprised by. Uh, so this one to me is definitely a diamond in the rough product. And I am an affiliate with Real Her. So if you do want to save 20% on this, then I highly encourage you to use the code that's so yin at checkout I have a couple of new highlighters in my collection but this one is the most recent and also I talked about it a lot last month and if you were just curious on like Jasmine your skin was glowing last month what were you using it was the Illamasqua Beyond powder in the shade OMG this is more of a hybrid. I mentioned this in my March Hits and Misses. It's a hybrid between the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders as well as the Laura Mercier Highlighters. It's a very lightweight, almost baked uh, texture. And in the packaging, it looks very boring. But I think on the skin, on top of everything that you already have, um, your foundation, your bronzer, your blush, it really just melts into that and it makes it look like a skin light glow, like glowing from within. So for that reason, it's one of my favorites. I like this better than the ambient lighting powers from Hourglass. I don't really like that. I had to give it away to my friend because it was just not doing it for me. And I also like the color of uh, better than the Laura Mercier highlighters so that's the reason why I like this so much because I feel like it's giving me what those brands couldn't. This was a late Christmas gift from my cousins to me and I literally was so happy when they gave it to me. Now they got me a huge package of Lunar Beauty items that was on my wish list for Christmas and they purchased a, a highlighter for me. This is the Moon Prism powder and it's in the shade Jupiter and this is very dark. It's very, very dark. So what I actually use this as, I use it as a large eyeshadow and I love my brown smoky eyes. So this definitely comes into play pretty often. It's just that I always forget to list it in my description boxes. I know I'm horrible, um, but it's really, really nice. I like how soft it is. It's definitely one that feels, um, it's not like a super shock cheek from ColourPop Soft, but it's definitely not like anything dry like the ambient lighting powders can be, or even how dry the Real Her one can feel. This one just feels like it will just instantly melt into the skin, and it definitely does. I really do like this, and this is actually a shade I, I could also get away with as a full-on blush as well, because I do like my shimmery blushes that are more of like a bronzy peach, and this definitely gives me that. So for that reason, this is definitely a favorite of mine, but it's definitely something that I need to use more of because it is so new. You guys know me. I love my small brands. I love 
my small businesses they mean so much to me but unfortunately these just didn't work out but I am gonna keep them because I promised you guys that I would continue doing more videos featuring the brand um, these are by Odin's eye and it's their Norns highlighter collection they do have three shades available here I've used two of the three and of course the third one that I didn't use you guys will obviously see why but I feel like this formula is very putty like similar to the ColourPop formula however I also feel like this is a lot chunkier than ColourPop so here is the first one and this one is definitely I would feel like the most appealing to anybody with my skin tone it definitely has that gold it has a little bit of peach and white when I mix all of the shades I just feel like it ultimately looks really chunky on my skin it gathers in areas and it's not the best and I feel like even if I apply it with my fingers or even with a brush I just cannot make it work for some odd reason um, here is the second shade and this one definitely looks ashy on me because it's a silver white with a little bit of pink in it and to me that just doesn't go well with my skin complexion because I have a strong yellow undertone so this doesn't really work out for me and then remember when I told you there was one shade that I didn't use this is the shade that I didn't use and for obvious reasons I am not a colored highlighter person you know, I actually used to be into colored highlighters during my senior year of high school. I loved a good purple or pink highlighter. If it had a shift, period. Like, I loved it so much. And it kind of fell through even until like my first year of college and then faded off towards my second year. Um, and I just felt like it was... It was just weird. I don't know. It it looked good in some lighting and then some lighting it didn't. And obviously blue versus yellow, you're kind of just like, okay, it's a little weird. Um, so for that reason, I haven't used a blue highlighter. Maybe I will on my eyes and give that a chance. But for now, these are not my favorite formula. Now, speaking of colored highlighters, these are from Kaleidos. These are the Space Age highlighters. And I believe I have all the shades. And this is probably like, if I am gonna go towards that colored highlighter route, this is where I'm gonna go because the formula is amazing. And it's very sheer, but when you apply it on top of a different color for your eyes, it will really pop. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So let's talk about this green one here, the Laser Glazer. This one is like the best when I do my green smoky eyes. Oh my god, this is literally the best. So it's like more of a duochrome. So it looks really good on the skin if you want it to. But the moment you put it on top of some eyeshadows, you get like this amazing flip. It's really, really beautiful. Same thing with the blue. The blue is a little bit more on like the sheer side and that's the reason why like I would prefer using this um, because it is more of like that like soft iridescent type of shade. Very very soft. They do have more like natural shades like this one. Uh, this one's the Solar Sailor. It has like a yellow undertone so it looks more natural on me. Um, they have this one, their newest one, the Diamond Dasher. Very, very pretty on the skin. So they do have some that definitely look more highlighty and then some with some color. And when you do play with the color, it's so beautiful. Um, the formula on these, I find that they are a little dry similar to Real Her, but once you start working it into the skin with the brush blends in beautifully I really do like this it's a smaller brand and I highly encourage that you get it I think the only con for me is definitely how bulky the packaging is because when you open it up it's definitely just like a tin can and it's just like that small amount of product in the middle I think you know if I was really crafty um, maybe I would definitely like pop out the highlighters and put it in a magnetic palette and just save the tins but honestly I I, I feel like if I do that then I will become a hoarder and I will find things to put in these tins and ultimately make it get lost so I'm gonna keep them in the tins I like the aesthetic of Kaleidos definitely and I do love their shadow formulas whether that's for the highlighters or for their actual eyeshadows or for their blushes remember when I spoke about Laura Mercier I have a Laura Mercier highlighter and I have a story that I want to tell you guys real quick. So as you guys know, I do work for Shiseido. I don't currently work for them right now due to COVID and being that I am a freelancer for them. I can't travel to any malls. Um, but 
I was put in a class for Laura Mercier to learn about the products, learn about the um, just the, the ingredients and everything and how to apply it on clients. And I was gifted a gratis bag and the bag had the Laura Mercier um, face illuminator in the shade Addiction. And this was a highlighter that I always wanted. I always thought that this was like the prettiest highlighter of my life. And it is still really good. I just think that the color itself is really dark on me, which is why I don't use it often. But it is just so pretty. It's like one of my prized possessions. And I just feel like for me this is definitely one where I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna stare at it because it's so pretty and I worked so hard to get this and to get to a point where I could learn about other brands behind the scenes and it's just amazing to me so uh, for that reason I really do love this even though I don't wear it I did use it when I first got it but it just ultimately didn't look good on my skin and it wasn't dark enough for like my eyeshadows and for me to even reach for it when I do my bronze smoky eyes Ooh, speaking of Shiseido, let's talk about this bad boy. This is the Cheek Powder in the shade Inner Light 01. Now, they have a lot of different like blush shades um, in this packaging, and this one is like the only one that's more like the highlighter type shade. So this is definitely like a pink champagne shade, and it's kind of sheer. Like, it's definitely one very reminiscent of the amount of glow you'll get from, like, an hourglass ambient lighting powder. Um, but I ultimately feel like this powder is more reserved on days where I feel like I want to have, like, that soft like a very soft little subtle sheen on the cheeks. This is definitely one that I would say is just reserved for like those full face at Shiseido days, I don't know, or when days I have to go to work. Um, I don't really reach for it often because it does have some of that peachy tone and more often than not I do like a highlighter that's more like golden or even like beamy like this where it has a little bit of like dare I say silver. Um, so I kind of like that for my everyday. So this is just reserved on days where I just feel like I want to look more natural or when I am going to work and I don't want to do too much and speaking of not doing too much look at me I'm transitioning beautifully I'm like a persuasive essay right now now this is the essence pure nude highlighter and this is the be my highlight shade I do believe that they have newer shades for the pure nude um, correct me if I am wrong but I feel like I'm right I feel like I am. Um, this one is actually very pretty. When I first got this, it looks like there's no type of shine. Like when I hold it and I, I move it around, there's no shimmer. But on the skin, it looks really, really good. It's very soft as well. And even on like my finger, you don't see anything. Like it's just so strange. But it definitely does have that shine. And when you do move it around, you do get that beautiful glow. Um, I do think that this is a lot better on top of like a semi uh, sticky, not semi sticky, ooh, that's like, oh, I hate that word. Um, especially when I'm describing foundations, more of like a satin finish foundation. It looks a lot better when there's some type of moisture on the skin so that it adheres and it allows the shine to really come through and to really glow. Do you remember last year when I included this into my 2020 project pan? Look at her. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Mean Money and Hustle Baby. Look at it. Panned out. So proud of this. It is beautiful. Now, I actually do like this highlighter despite how less frequently I do use it nowadays because I did use it like all of last year, so I'm a little tired of it. But I do think that these highlighters are so incredibly beautiful. Now, this one that I've used up mostly is Mean Money, which is more of like that soft, sheer highlighter, similar to the Shiseido highlighter. Um, and then the Hustle Baby side is more of like that beaming, bold highlighter, kind of like the one that I'm wearing on my cheek. Now, what I normally do is I layer the more uh, soft, subtle, side first and then I will layer the more intense on top just so I could get like the most pigment and the most beaming glow out of this um, and I really do like it I don't really see any other duos in the Fenty collection that I would want to try next they have a lot of different highlighters but ultimately this one's gonna be my favorite so on my channel, I talk about my two best friends, Sydney and Kate. They are my soul sisters, they're my best friends, and I love them to death. Like, I, 
I would take a bullet for them. And when I was FaceTiming Kate, she asked me, hey Jas, do you want this highlighter? Like it's way too dark for me and mind you, Kate is pale. So when she held this up, I was like, why do you even have that first of all? Like that's really dark. And it's actually kind of dark on me. This is by Nabla and it's their Skin Glazing Glow Powder and it's the shade Amnesia. Now actually on the skin, it's very similar to the Laura Mercier one. I think Laura Mercier is a little bit more golden, but I feel like sometimes I can't really tell the difference on the skin. It's really strange because when I hold them up side by side, you could tell like they're two different colors, but on the skin, it kind of looks the same. The texture is actually the same as well. So if you are looking for a little bit of a cheaper alternative than the Laura Mercier, maybe it's sold out and you're just like, damn it, I need it, then definitely try out this. I think this is the closest dupe comparison that I have for you in this video. Um, so yeah, thanks Kate. <laughs> Dare I say this is probably one of my older highlighters in my collection. I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I think this one might just be the most expired and it is the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter in the shade Cream Puff. I've had this for literal years and it's, it hasn't done me dirty and it's a baked highlighter so it takes a while to hit pan. I haven't hit pan but I've made major dents in this like the dome is completely flattened out and it's one of those highlighters that again very dry, it's baked but on the skin looks super super beaming very white, very white on the finger, but it's very reminiscent in color to what I am wearing on my cheeks today. Um, I just don't reach for this anymore as much as I used to because it is pretty old, but time and time again, I will reach for it because it is a baked product, so it lasts a little bit longer. And also, I like the way that it looks on the skin. If I'm going to recommend you anything from Shop Misse as far as highlighters are concerned, you bet your ass I'm gonna recommend you the POW lighters. These are loose highlighters. And even though, even though these are small, it's a lot of product. It is a lot, trust me. And I have the shade here Astro, which is the one I normally wear. And then I also have the shade Cosmos, which is great for people who have more of a tan than me. Um, this, is, this one is just a little bit dark. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the formula of this. I'm gonna talk about Astro in particular. I only grab what's in the cap, which doesn't seem like a lot. And I'm actually gonna apply this over my highlighter so that you could see how blinding this is. For these highlighters in particular, I always apply with like my regular highlighter brush, which looks like this. This is what I use, my Sigma F03 is what I've been using for years. But with this one in particular, I use something extra small. You could use like a large blending brush if you'd like, because I notice anything bigger than this, it gets everywhere. So I dip in just a very little bit, very little, and I will literally apply it on the cheeks and it just adds like an extra element of glow. So, straight forward, sideways, versus this. I already thought that this was already like super beaming, but this even on its own is like the most pigmented, the most shiny. It's literally going to, I think, can my boyfriend see me? He lives very close to me. I think I'm gonna call him, see if he could see me from my room right now because my highlight is just so poppin'. It's just so bright. Um, and this is just one of my ultimate favorites from Shop Masse. I barely use it nowadays because uh, when I'm in a rush, sometimes I don't like using anything that's more of like a loose formula. Same goes with powders. Um, so if I am in a rush, I don't use this. If I'm sitting down peacefully doing my makeup, I'm using it. I rarely dive into liquid highlighters, but while we are still on the topic of Shop Masse, I do have their Glow Baby. Yes, the one in the new packaging. I don't have the one in the older packaging, the one with like the dropper, but it's the same formula. It's just different. It comes in a squeezy tube. Now this one's Golden Rose, and when I first got this, I was thinking Golden Rose just sounds like it's not going to fit me. It sounds like it's going to be too dark. Underneath foundation is so good. It is so, so good. When I do makeup on clients, I like to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors and I put it underneath their foundation so that when I apply the foundation, it looks like you're glowing from within, but it's not doing too much. This 
similar effect just a little bit more glowy and dewy and that's exactly what I personally like for myself and it's just really really pretty even on bare skin I could just apply it on my cheekbones and really sheer it out and it looks really stunning so this is definitely one of those liquid highlighters that I like I prefer dare I say maybe a dupe for Becca's I don't know. I'm not going to say that because uh, I feel bad because Becca is going out of business. So um, <laughs> if you guys do want to try any of these highlighters from Shop Missy, I do highly recommend and encourage that you use my affiliate link down in the description box below. Those are definitely some of my top favorites. Um, the Powell Lighter as well as the Glow Baby. Wonder Baked Highlighter, not so much anymore as it used to be, but it's still a great go-to. Now speaking of Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, I am just on a roll with these transitions. Oh my gosh. So I have a sample version and I've had this for quite a while. It just won't die. I don't know what it is. It won't go away. Now this one is the shade Moonstone and the one that I have in my kit is Champagne Pop and this is really amazing. So same thing with the Glow Baby. I will put this underneath the foundation and I will actually put this under my concealer. So all under my eyes, on my forehead, on my nose, on my chin, every area that I'm going to be applying my concealer, I'm going to apply it in those areas because I know that's where it's going to catch the light and make it look really luminous. I have used this on top of foundations and I don't love it as much. Even though it does work, it's definitely not my favorite. We're down to the last few highlighters and I'm going to go into a drugstore highlighter. This is by CoverGirl. It's their True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Highlighter in the shade Pearl Crush. Now this looks very boring and I've seen it in stores and on display and every single time I walk past it, I'm like, you're boring. And I think this is one of the very few highlighters that I have in my collection that you can actually see the shine when I uh, turn it side to side and that's how it's going to look on the skin. Very soft, very smooth. It's so lightweight, like it's so buttery smooth and soft. Just a little bit goes a very long way similar with like the Shop Masse Pal lighters where a, like you add a little bit and it's just like such a large amount of shine same thing with this but I feel like the only con is that there's only three shades and I believe this is the lightest and I know for me I'm like a I'm like a light medium medium skin tone and for anybody lighter than me you're not gonna find a shade at all and so for that reason um, unfortunately like this is only gonna really work out for somebody who is like a medium skin tone or darker Maybe they have a lighter shade and I'm just tripping. I don't know, but this is the one. Let's talk about a Bay Area business, shall we? Now, this is by Juno and Co. and it's their Moonbeam Highlighter, and this is the shade Glisten. They also have another shade that's more of a pink undertone. I gave that away because it didn't suit me. This one is more of like the white golden undertone, and it looks really pretty. Now, in the packaging, it looks boring but on the skin it has more of like a medium shine it's definitely not super intense and also not super sheer very basic and I feel like it's one of those highlighters where it's like if you need a highlighter then definitely get it but it the highlighter range isn't inclusive either so if you want to just try it just to try it it's really affordable I believe it's like only eight dollars you're definitely supporting a small Asian owned brand that's located in the Bay Area so if you want to try it great but it's definitely not one where I'm like blown away from but I am blown away by this this is the benefit cookie highlighter and Sydney actually got this for me based off of I believe Jaclyn Hill's recommendation she bought this for me for Christmas uh, two Christmases ago and it's still one of those highlighters that is so so good so I'm gonna show you what it looks like this is more of like a pinky champagne highlighter and I'm gonna take a very little bit on this brush and apply it right on top it's like, it's so pigmented. And even if I don't apply it on top of a different highlighter like this, even on its own, a little goes a very, very long way. Like if you want a shiny cheek, this is what you're gonna look for. Finally, we have the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and it's the Baked Highlighter. This is like the most iconic highlighter ever. This is actually what I use all over my cheeks as like a blush topper, not as a highlighter. It's really, really pretty. It's like super golden, very similar to the Laura Mercier, but just a lot more pigmented. This has so much more shine and it's still that beautiful like 
dark and golden brown. It looks great on the cheeks, looks great on the eyes, super soft and buttery. It doesn't feel like the typical baked formula that you guys might be familiar with. And there you have it, you guys, my full collection of my highlighters. I hope you guys all really enjoy this one. I hope that my review was very easy to comprehend because I was trying to find different descriptions uh, for these highlighters because some of them are really different, but some of them are very similar. So I just tried to make sure that everything was as uh, best explained as possible. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys have any of these highlighters, if you guys want to try any, what are your favorite highlighters? I would honestly love to know. Thank you all so much for watching and if you guys want to see more of my makeup collection series and please let me know. As always, I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts!